Good evening, everyone, live from the Sultanate of Oman. My name is Jonas Dupo. I am your overseas Filipino workers advocate. And we are starting a new series here in my blog. It's called OFW Success Principles. And I hope you will tune in. I'll be sharing lots of overseas Filipino workers success, success principles. Shout out to every OFW all over the world. Sa mga followers mo natin and friends in Saudi Arabia. In, uh, in the UAE, in Canada, and of course in Israel, and our friends here in the Sultanate of Oman. Are you ready to start our discussion for today? It's called OFW Success Principles. And the main aim and the main objective of this blog is to provide additional principles so that you will be guided in your steps as you pursue, as you work here overseas, or as you... Um, enjoy your life your work here abroad so number one is my the first ever principle that i want to share with you a short principle it's called start afraid start afraid that's two words start afraid i know that you you applied overseas you work overseas because you have big dreams and uh, there are bigger reasons there are bigger whys why you left our country why you left the philippines and a lot of people a lot of OFW, maybe their main reason is because they want to build a dream, their dreams maybe they want to build a house maybe they want to send their children to school or maybe someone is sick in their family and they need bigger amount of money whatever it is i believe that we have bigger whys there are bigger reasons why we pursue working overseas and uh, that's the, that that uh, first step alone is a big leap. That's actually a big step of conquering our fears. Who among us here? Sino ang hindi natakot when we left the Philippines? Every one of us felt that fears. What will happen? You know, the, the anxiety that we experience is is um. Will I find a good employer? Will I have a great or a good work overseas? And there are so many questions because. Uh, Doubts will creep in as well, and uh, it will be manifested by, by so many fears. However, we conquer going overseas by facing it, and look at us now. We are actually working overseas already. So my advice is to start afraid. And uh, when we are actually, when we are already earning a bigger amount of money compared to our salary back home, we want to start many projects. And there are just many opportunities, and it's normal, you know, do you want to start your business first do you want to build a home first do you want to save or do you want to start some new venture maybe you want to transfer to different countries but options are everywhere and there are many opportunities and alongside with the opportunities are actually fears that we experience there are many people who have brilliant ideas they have many brilliant business ideas brilliant goals but it will remain useless if we will not act on it and one thing that stops us from doing it from achieving it's actually fear and it's very common that's why my advice is start afraid start weak even if you're afraid do it and that's the only way that you will get results because if you will stay with your fears you control you allow your fears to control you you will not start anything i always um I always share it and I love it. I love this topic that says, um, two years from now, you will not regret on the things that you did and actually not succeed, but you will regret on the things that you plan to do, but you never had the chance to do it. So my advice to you now is to do it, even if it's difficult, even if you think you have less resources, just do it. Because along the way, once you have a calculated risk, once uh, you couple it with faith, and of course, with hard work, you can definitely achieve something. So, the first, under this first principle, start afraid, I want to share a few thoughts. Number one is, fear will always be there. No matter what you do, you will never reach a certain confidence that all is well. That you think what you are doing, that you're doing is mostly without any fear, without any um, doubt. Fear will, all, fear will always be there. Even the most successful people, when they want to pursue something and try to talk to them, there is always that fear. Even, you know, even public speakers, when they stand in front, fear is always there and it will never leave us. So a lot of people allow that fear 
way to stop them from doing something. But there are many people also that even if they are afraid, they give in to their ideas, they do it, they jump in, they act, and then they, they pursue their goals. And that's one thing that you, you need to consider. Whatever you do, even if you're the most, even if you're the strongest person, you will always be afraid. So again, the advice is, is start afraid. Number two, fear of failure is a must. So that's the second principle under, under this start afraid. Failure is a must. You need to experience failure in order for you to become successful. And you need to, and you need to try many things. And um, a lot of people are actually not pursuing something because they are afraid of failure. That's the most common. What if people will laugh at them? What if, what if people will tell them funny things? And all these things will, will come into their mind. But for me, whenever I want to pursue something, failure is always a part. And you cannot run away with failure. When you review, when you go back, or when you check the most successful people around you, even your neighbors, your friends, your relatives, and even the most successful people who walk this earth, those who are still living and those who already died, most successful people experience the most failures. And you are not excused with that. If you want to achieve success, you are not excused because definitely you will experience failure whether you like it or not. It's not that you tried once, and then you become successful. Okay, many people tried it five times, ten times, and twenty times, and that's a time that they will hit it. Okay, and number three is it's called the third principle is persistence. Okay, don't stop, don't stop. The difference between you know when when we when, um, when we look at farmers, sometimes we focus on. Uh, on uh, two seasons only, you know, the planting season and the harvest season. And those two things, these are actually exciting. You know, when you plant something, when you start a project, when you start something new, you are very excited. And during harvest time as well, of course, when you see that what you have uh, given out, the efforts that you have uh, delivered is actually gaining something, you are harvesting something, you are earning money, that's also exciting. But in between those two things, planting and harvesting time, the in between is the growing time, that's the growing season. And it will speak bigger things about your success. Okay, you can start a project, okay, and wait for the harvest time, but in between, there's one crucial thing that you need to consider, and that's growing time, and it's called persistence. Are you willing to experience failure? Are you, are you willing to experience being laughed at, even if you are not producing results yet? But God will bless those who are persistent. If you will not stop because you want that thing, you want to do it, you want to achieve it, then definitely one day you will reach to your destination, enjoying your success, and living the life that you always, always dream of. Even if you're afraid, do it. Even if you think you're weak, do it. Even if you think you will fail, do it. That's experience. In our lives, in any in in our lives in pursuing something there are only two types of persons and number one is we have the winners they hit their targets and number two we have the learners remember this fellow of w there are no losers there are only winners and there are learners if you win that's good for you good job if you fail you did not hit your target then take the lessons okay you're still you know when you when you look at it in a deeper perspective you're still you are still a winner because you learn something and that's the most important thing in our journey so i advise everyone if you want to pursue something start small start afraid then uh, just uh, have that faith to god wala pong, um, there's not no plants to flourish or to, to water if you will not plant anything. God will only give so much of his mercy and his glory if you started something. You will be blessed when you start something because God is something to put water on, God is something to flourish. I pray for your success. Again, my name is Jonas. If you want to inspire someone today, share this video and inspire someone today, especially your our fellow overseas Filipino workers. God bless everyone. Thank you for tuning in.